Okay, how can you bring back life into an old lead acid battery? This is a motorcycle battery and a scooter battery. You'll see right now I'm getting the little flap off to allow me entry to the channels to up, uh, well, fill up the deionized water. So at the moment, this battery has been sitting in the scooter for five years, nearly over five years, and it's completely lost charge. I checked it and it had no fluid in it at all. I've brought some deionized water, which I'm gonna to top up into this battery. The plan is I'm gonna refill it, I'm gonna recharge it and see what happens. So for now, let's, I didn't have any containers, so I'm using this lid of a spray container. But I think it's important we show you firstly what the volt voltage is in the battery. So let's just have a look and see what it shows. So because it's been sitting there so long, I did try and recharge this and it did not work. Uh, if you're following my scooter restore series, you'll see this battery came out of my scooter. So firstly, we're going to have a quick look at the levels. Let's see what we get. So 0 0.9, 0 0.1, 0 0.22. So nothing major, really low. So that makes me think that there's no power in the battery at all. And now what we're going to do is top it up with deionized water. The plan here is I'm using that little lid. It holds about 50 milliliters of that water. I'm just filling in each channel. And it's normally two capfuls which it's taking so it was really empty so now once this is filled up i'm just going to do a a charge i've got a, a charger which i'm going to use to re bring back life into this battery basically so now that it's fully topped up we're going to give it a little bit of a shake to get rid of any air bubbles in there and then we'll see if we can get another reading off this because i'm assuming when the deionized water goes in it'll start reacting and we should get at least a couple of volt so it's literally been a couple of minutes which has taken me about 10 minutes to fill up the water in there so let's just have a reading check on this now and have we got any import like oh there we go look at that 2.6 volt against the 0 0.2 we had previously so we are on the right track to get this back all you see is against 2.6 2.7 slowly 2.7 will it go any higher but yeah so now i'm going to put the lid back on we're going to clean it up and i'm going to leave it on charge overnight if it's sulfated it can take up to 48 hours for my charger to try and restore the battery i've got an optimate 3 charger that i'm using with this battery so let's get that onto this battery and see how it performs so here's the optimate charger i'm going to get that plugged on and plugged in and we'll see what the lights show it can desulfate a battery as well so the good thing about this charger is it's a, one of the better ones because you can bring back life into old batteries like we're doing today and it's fairly easy so you can see as i plugged it in it's showing desulfate on the lcd screen which means the battery was sulfated so we'll leave it on that and hopefully what would happen is after 24 to 48 hours once it's there you go this is the next day it's gone to charge mode so the desulfate was complete overnight and then next day it's gone to charge mode let's take the clamps off and see what volt we're getting at the moment it hasn't fully charged yet but i'm expecting it to hold charge what we got what we got okay so there you go you can see 10 over 10 volt uh, let's just check that again to make sure so is it 10 volt we're going to leave it to charge all day today as well and then i'll do a uh, discharge test to see how long it takes to get rid of the charge 10.3 volt so that is how to get power back into your battery